Hello, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, give this video a like so that you never miss any of my wig related content. Today, I'm gonna to bring you a wig review for Continental Wigs UK. This is their beautiful natural image wig back in style. And the color on this one is creamy glow rooted. More on her in just a minute. let's start looking at this beautiful style natural image back in style very very pretty bob as you can see and this creamy glow rooted is a gorgeous blonde so first off before i get started i just want to mention that continental wigs uk is a family-owned business they've been in business for over 20 years in the wig industry they are running a fun little christmas gift special and um they sent me this and it's it's wrapped isn't that cute i opened the end just so i could get the stuff out but so you're gonna get an Ellen Villa shampoo and conditioner, travel size. Great for this time of the year if you're gonna be traveling. A very nice wig stand. These are very sturdy. They work great. Work great for storing your wigs or for drying your wigs. And then you'll get a teasing styling comb in that little Christmas gift. So really, really nice, sweet, generous gift. As long as you spend 150 pounds or $186.48 USD, you will receive the Christmas gift. So let's start taking a look at this cute wig. So beautiful, beautiful bob. I love the style, just very classic, very timeless, gorgeous. I always love a bob. So she is a full mono top with a lace front. So really, really great uh, cap construction. This is their comfort cap, which is really, really comfortable. So we'll get into her in just a second. Okay, so the cap on these natural image wigs is considered to be a petite average size. And like I said, this is their comfort cap. So this has an extended lace front. So you get that true temple to temple coverage. I'll show you the knots. And then you have a full mono top. So you can part wherever you'd like. Really nice, that allows you to change your part. And for full mono top wigs, these are very, very affordable. Um, this one is listed at uh, 209.25 in British pounds and 211.63 in US dollars at the time of me filming this video. So really, really great price. So I'll show you the ear tabs. We've got great coverage around the face. I just think that this brand is just such a great brand and so affordable. So like I said, these are considered to be petite average, but this is a wefted cap, so it does have some stretch. So it's fitting my petite head great ear to ear. I'm 11 inches. For a denape, I'm 13 inches, and it's fitting very, very nicely. I haven't had to take in the adjusters, but there is a little stretch back here on the cap. So I think that this would go, you know, average and maybe just above average, but it's, um, you know, going to stay on the smaller side of average. My circumference is 21 inches. Okay, we can look at the measurements for back in style. So there is an 11.5 inch or 30 centimeter uh, layer here at the crown. Uh, the nape is three and a half inches or nine centimeters. And the sides are 10 and three quarters inches or 28 centimeters. They did not give me a weight, but it's really, really lightweight. I would guess it's in the, you know, three something, four something ounce range. So I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. Okay, here's the inside of the cap for back in style. So here's your full mono top. Extended true temple to temple lace front. I love that you get that, you know, full temple to temple coverage. Soft felt ear tabs with a metal stay to help that keep flush up against your face. Open wefting all through the cap. She has an extended soft felt nape with Velcro adjusters. So this wefted cap, like I said, there is some stretch, plenty of stretch in this wefted cap and some stretch in the circumference as well. Okay, we're gonna start covering the color, but I wanna talk a little bit about the cap that I didn't mention. I am feeling a little bit of permatease. I can feel it here on the ear tabs. And then I can feel just a tiny bit when you come off of the mono top. Other than that, I don't really feel it. There's a little bit of a teasing feel where the uh, hair attaches to the cap, but it's not full of, you know, big bulky, 
you know, permatees or anything like that. I feel like it's a very, very natural density. And when we style it, you'll see how easy it is to tuck behind the ears and stuff like that. This is regular synthetic, by the way, it is not heat friendly. So let's take a look at this color. So this is the Creamy Glow Rooted. So you can see it's a rooted blonde. One thing about their colors is they don't give a color description. So I have to just sort of look at the way again, give you my own interpretation of the color. They do give a 10 for the root. And other than that, that's all they give. So this is what I came up with. It is a neutral blonde, in my opinion. So a neutral rooted blonde. And that root is um, on the warmer side, that 10. Um, it, it actually looks a little reddish in some lighting that we may see that when we go outside. I can just see it in certain lighting. But other, you know, it always looks like a golden brown. There's just a hint of red in the root color only um, in certain lighting. So hope that makes sense. So there's your root. Your rooting color will show anywhere you separate the hair. So right there you can kind of see just a little, do you see what I'm saying? A bit of a hint of red. So just making that root color a warm color. It's not a red root or an auburn, but you know, it just reflects a little bit of red. So there you can see that root color around the face. I would say this has a gold blonde and maybe a bit of platinum in it. That's why I describe it as neutral. I wouldn't say that it is just a, an all out warm blonde, but it does tend to lean warmer. It's definitely not cool. So I would say it's neutral to warm. Okay, under my patio cover, you can see that root color, creamy glow rooted. Just coming into the light here, edge of the patio cover. Step into the sun. Okay, we can take a look at glasses and styling. So this is what I was talking about earlier. She's very easy to tuck behind the ears. So even though there is just a little bit of permatease in this area, I still don't feel like it's enough, you know, for it to be an unnatural density. It's still a very natural, you know, um, medium density I would give the wig because it does have quite a bit of hair on it too. So I always place my glasses on top of my ear tabs. Glasses can go up on your head. There is a little bit of resistance I notice when I push the glasses up on this side, you know, because this is, I have it parted on the left. So this is the heavier hair side. So just be mindful of that. Um, I always take down my lace front or wear a wig grip to keep a wig from moving. So those are good things to do just to ensure, you know, if you're going to be pushing your glasses on and off and that kind of thing, that your wig's not going to move. So, okay, let's look at the headband. So this front layer, they did not give a front layer measurement, but I think it's probably about the same as the crown at that 11 and a half. So it will stay back in a headband which is so nice because if you just want to get the hair out of your face, bobs look so cute pulled back in a headband if you need to be looking down, you know, if you're at your office or whatever, that's really, really nice. But if you want to, you can pull this layer out. You just have a little hair around the face as well. She does have the length to go half up, half down. And that looks really cute. Ponytail. I'm not so sure. She should have. What was that nape? No, it's only three and a half. She's stacked under here at the nape. So she gets a little shorter. You know, the nape, um, nape measurement is a little bit shorter. So ponytail. I think you could do a little small one. You know, if you just wanted to get the hair up off your neck, you would probably have to put some bobby pins back here behind the ears just to keep that hair back. But that looks sleek and very cute. And then of course, with this full mono top, remember you can part it wherever you like so you can change your part. And you can of course pull the hair off of that um, beautiful extended lace front. It gives you plenty of room to play around with styling that off the face. Very nice. 
So thank you to Continental Wigs UK for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information in the drop down box down below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.